What's up guys? It's Ryantium here, and today we are back in Skyrim. That's right, you guys, and do snap. It's gonna be an awesome freaking day. So guys, welcome back, and happy showcase day. That's right. Uh, listen here, Jawanen, can you please just go ahead and back up? Thank you. I'm trying to talk to some peeps. But anyways, thank you so, so much for coming on by and uh, seeing today's showcase. And today, we're taking a look at Griffin's Refuge. Now, Griffin's Refuge is a player home that's located in the bottom of the Radiant Raiment, one of the stores here in the lovely hold of Solitude. So it's nice and easy to find. Uh, Solitude is right here. We're at the front gate of Solitude, um, front gate being uh, right there, as the execution block is right there. Now, the Radiant Raiment, you're going to want to look for this sign and the door that says the Radiant Raiment. Now, this home is an interesting home. So... This home is basically a uh, refuge away from the Thalmor. So if you go ahead and read the description of the mod, uh, it talks about how these two sisters, or the two women who work here, they uh, can shelter you uh, from the Thalmor. And it's kind of a cool little, you know, lore piece to have here, but I'll go ahead and show you where to find it, because unfortunately, you do have to pick your way into it. Uh, it is only an apprentice lock, which is nice, but you want to find that door right there. You want to come down the staircase through here, and this door right here is what you're going to want to find. Unlock Griffin's Refuge. Now, I don't exactly know if it's, um, you know, illegal to break into this door. But, uh, I don't believe so. Because I think she I think she could see me, if I'm not mistaken. Not to mention it didn't pop up with the red text that it normally does. But, here we are in Griffin's Refuge. You might be asking, what the hell is this house, Ryan? Come on, it's like this big. It's so super tiny. Well, don't fret. It's actually not this small. In fact, it's this big. No, I'm kidding. This is totally not the house. <laughs> this is simply a cover to make sure that the Thalmor, ca you know, complete their inspections without being found, without you being found. This is the uh, Radiant Raiment's storage room, but this right here, this is what we want to find. Now, let's see. If we pull this bar, would you look at that? It opens a suspicious back room door. And then right here, the same thing happens. Lovely. So now we're kind of locked in back here, and then now the showcase can actually begin. Welcome home to Griffin's Refuge. Now this home, like I said, is in the basement of the Radiant Raiment, and it comes with a lot of bells and whistles. It is indeed free, if you can find a way to break yourself into it, which is always nice to see. Uh, but here in kind of the grand foyer, this is kind of, you know, the main entrance that we've got here. Got some nice decor and everything. It's very vanilla. Very vanilla with sprinkles, if I do say so myself. We have a blank journal right here, just in case you want to catalog how many days you've been stuck down here in the basement. Nice little spot here for you to eat some dinner. Now, what I like about the uh, the description of the mod, it says you might hear, you know, footsteps on this on the ceiling. Uh, the the pitter-patter of, you know, the elven boots of the Thalmor. Kind of a cool way of, you know, making it seem like you're um, taking refuge or, you know, you're seeking safe harbor. Kind of really cool, honestly, here in the times of Skyrim. But over here... We have a nice little area with some crafting stuff, as well as our kitchen, some places to cook some stuff, and what's nice is it does come with a few places to store a few things as far as weapons go. But, have a chest right there, got ourselves a cooking pot, and uh, no, it does not do that much damage. I'm in god mode. It does that much damage. <laughs> but some nice free weapons here at the beginning of the game, especially if you have the alternate starts and you start out here in um, Solitude, can honestly be really good for you because then you get a whole bunch of extra stuff. You get some empty soul gems, you know, some greater soul gems, everything like that. Not to mention it's a place to call your own away from the pitter-patter and the ribble-rabble of everywhere else in Skyrim. Plus, it's relatively safe as long as the Thalmor don't decide to show up. Alchemy Lab right here, and a truck that just drove by. Thank you so much for having a large engine, and our Hearthfire Oven as well. So continuing through the home, there are quite a few bells and whistles, but we'll take a look at each and every single one of them as we work our way through them. In this area, like I said, it's kind of the uh, the main entrance way, the grand foyer if you want. But let's go ahead and continue on through the rest of the home, through this door. Now as we can see, this is kind of the master bedroom and or storage area. Uh, you know, you can hang up your weapons if you need to, store some extra things if you, you know, absolutely have to. But even still, kind of nice. Got a wardrobe to store some clothing, a bed to get a good night's sleep, and then some extra stuff over here, which is, it's ironic, we've got all of this stuff over here. Uh, but this is the Griffin Rider's Armor, which is kind of cool. Gives you a custom set of elven armor, which is honestly kind of nice to have right at the beginning of the game. Not to mention you got some really cool custom paintings in this game, or in this home. Looks really, really beautiful. 
Now you're probably noticing that the the house itself is very vanilla. It's absolutely a vanilla with sprinkles home. And I kind of like that, you know? Uh, having it in the basement of an already vanilla building is kind of cool and lends itself well to the whole theme. And oh my god, there's a bathtub. <laughs> so in those days that you had the Thalmor hot on your tail and you had to just kind of come down and relax a little bit, fully clothed, mind you, absolutely. Uh, just come on down and grab yourself a nice little bath here in your bathroom. Kind of nice to see, honestly. Kind of cool to have a little spot right there. Got some extra clothing, but nothing too crazy in this room. Kind of a boring room, if you do ask. If I do say so myself, the only thing that it has going for it is the tub, indeed. But, let's take a look around the, uh, the rest of it and see if there's anything else that this home has to offer. So, as far as I can tell, that is everything that this home has to offer. And as far as bells and whistles go, it's nice. It's not, you know, the regular custom that you, you know, you come to expect from homes in, um, you know, Skyrim Mod showcases, but... Honestly, it is kind of a nice little spot to have, just in case you need a spot to get away from. Now, I really do think that they could have put a few more things in here, some nice little extra touches as far as crafting areas go, as well as maybe, you know, like an office or, you know, some proper decorations, but I know it's more so seen as that way to get away from the Thalmor. You know, it's very RP heavy, I would say, so the bare necessities is pretty much what you just need. I think that's probably the word that I would go for and go with, because you want to blend in as much as possible. You know, I don't really think it would be real realistic to have, you know, a big forge and, you know, a, uh, a blacksmithing area underneath the basement of a clothing store, you know? It might look a little bit suspicious if you ask me. However, uh, do please be careful when combining things with enchantments as well as alchemy, because if you blow up down here, you're going to blow up upstairs, and that's going to be real awkward. So, let me know what you guys think down there in the comment section. Did you like it? Did you hate it? Would you use this home if you wanted to play as kind of a, a someone who wants to seek refuge away from the Thalmor and wants to really get super heavy into role-playing? Let me know what you guys are thinking. I'd love to hear what you guys are thinking down there in the comment section. But until next time, guys, thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.